Hello aspirants, this is me Yasmin Gill presenting to you the PIB MCQs of 30th of January. So do follow all these videos on this particular link plus do not forget to rate and review the course. So let's begin with a couple of instructions to watch yesterday's PIB summary and keep to update with your current affairs because that will help you score better in these questions and once you attempt all these questions do mention your scorecard. So beginning with the first question which among the following is true? A. BCCI panel appointed by Supreme Court is headed by Vinod Rai. B. Vinod Rai was the former CAG that is Controller and Auditor General of India. C. This panel will control the management of BCCI. D. The panel is set up to see whether, B whether BCCI has complied with LODA committee recommendations or not. So, uh, looking at the options here, so the correct answer to this question is that all of these are correct. Yes, it is a committee or panel appointed by Supreme Court for twin purposes. One is to control the management of BCCI, especially after the heads were removed and D part, that is uh, to check whether the LODA committee recommendations are complied by BCCI or not. So, we here have all of these as the correct answer. Additional point being Vinod Rai, former CAG, also heads bank uh, board bureau. Next, which among the following is true? A. Tariffs levied on imported goods to offset these subsidies made to the producers of these goods in the exporting country is known as anti-dumping duty. B. Apple company has recently got the benefit of exemption from anti-dumping duty to be imposed by government of India in wake of the high technology products. C. Both of them are correct or D. None of them is correct. So in this question, none of the above statements are correct. Why? See, because the tariff which is levied on the imported goods so, for example, India is importing some good, right? And uh, suppose, supposedly we are importing that particular good from America. Now, American government, it gives a lot of subsidies to its exporters and thereby the product, it's, it is very cheap and it will hurt the domestic producers in India. Therefore, India can in this particular context of subsidies being imposed or given by US, it can actually uh, sort of tax that particular import and this tax or duty is known as countervailing duty and not anti-dumping duty. So first one is wrong and second is also wrong. See Apple has recently uh, bargained or I would say uh, collaborated with government of India to allow it exemption from countervailing duty for a few years. So this is in wake of so government of India have uh, has also agreed to it. Why? Because we say that this will bring in new technology to India. So we here have none of the above as the correct answer. Also you can read about uh, more because still there is a uh, controversy or there is regard there is a, a problem regarding the time period for which this exemption is to be given. Next, which among them is true? A. Enforcement Directorate or ED functions under Ministry of Finance. B. The tenure of Director of ED is fixed as per CVC Act that is Central Vigilance Commission Act. C. The tenure is fixed to be not less than 5 years. D. Enforcement Directorate is responsible for enforcement of civil laws only. So, correct answer to this question is A and B. C is wrong because the tenure, minimum amount of tenure is to be 2 years and not 5 years. As far as the uh, enforcement is concerned, it is not just of civil laws but also of criminal law. So, it enforces a civil law that is Foreign Exchange Management Act and a criminal law that is Prevention of Money Laundering Act. Next question. Put these expeditions of Alauddin Khalji in chronological order. Chittorgar Ranthambore Gujarat Expedition to South India. So what you have to do is you have to place the uh, the place where he went to went to uh, went or sent an expedition earliest in the first place and the late, later one in the last place. So the correct answer to this question is as in the next slide. So first expedition was sent to Gujarat whereby Somnath temple was plundered and next was sent to Ranthambore whereby the king was Hamidev then was sent it was sent to Chittorgarh where the king was Ratan Singh and finally to South India. Now, do mention in the comment section who was the person who uh, undertook the expedition to South India. So, he was a uh, general under uh, Alauddin Khalji. Next, which among them is true? A. The first payment bank that was given not by RBI to launch banking operations was Airtel. B. India Post has become the second payment bank to be granted this permission. C. Both of them are correct or D. None of them is correct. So, the correct answer here is only A. So why? Because India Post is the third such bank. The second was Paytm. Next, which among them is true? A. Indus Valley script style of script is Bostrophedon. D. It is written from left to right. C. Both of them are correct. Or D. None of them is correct. 
So correct answer here is only A. So the script is known by the name of Bostrophodon and it is not necessarily always written from left to right. In fact, it's a rhythmical pattern. So first it is written from uh, first it is written from right to left and there on it is written from left to right. Also why in news because recently artificial intelligence methods are being used to decipher the script. Next, which among them is true? A. C15 is the name given to cryogenic upper stage for GSLV Mark III. B. It uses liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen as the propellant combination. C. ISRO propulsion complex is located in Bengaluru. So correct answer here is only B. First is wrong. Why? Because it is not C15, rather C25, which is the name given to the upper cryogenic stage. As far as the propulsion complex is considered, it is not in Bengaluru, rather it is located in Mahindragiri in Tamil Nadu. So we here have only B as the correct answer. Next, which among the following is true? A. Alauddin Khilji sent an expedition to Chittor on the pretext that two Mongol rebels had sought a refuge there. B. Amir Khusrau had given a graphic description of the fort of Ranthambore. C. The first Persian account of Johar was related to the Johar that was took that took place in Chittorgarh. So, correct answer to this question is only B. Why? Because firstly, the pretext that is two Mongol rebels had taken a refuge. This was used to enter into Ranthambore and not Chittorgarh. So, first is wrong. As far as C part is concerned, the first Persian account of Johar it was related to the Johar that took place in. Ranthambore and not Chittorgarh. While B is correct, in fact, Amir Khusro accompanied Alauddin Khilji to this expedition to Ranthambore. So we here have only B as the correct answer. Next, which bank has become the first one to deploy robots for customer service? Axis Bank, HDFC, Union Bank of India, none of the above. So correct answer to this question is HDFC. Next, Turing test pertains to which of the following? A. Diagnose of Zika virus. B. Artificial intelligence. C. Diagnose of leprosy. D. None of the above. So, correct answer to this question is Turing test is related to artificial intelligence. It is to check how well a computer or a supercomputer, whatever you may call it, can perform. And uh, this was developed by Alan Turing and hence the name. So, friends, that's it for today. In case you find the initiative useful, please do not forget to rate and review the same. Thank you so much.